Don't you just love staring at their eyes? Aren't they beautiful? Dude, I don't like them. They're assholes. You're right. Still, we'll always have some fun with them. I get it now. Your response for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you to bring any trouble into my mind. We're Team Galactic. We'll take all the Pokemon we want. Is that right, partner? You said it, brother. So that's what we're gonna do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted out Iron Island. To share in all the joys and all the sorrows. That's how all the traitors in Pokemon live in Sinnoh. Don't allow anyone to defy that code of ethics. Come on, free man. This is one battle we can't lose. Hang on, I gotta go pick something up. I gotta do it for Dawn. I forgot to get something. I gotta get a present for her birthday. She might kill me. Oh, crap, because we gotta do this now. Hey, Pokemon 3, huh? Alright, fine. Bring on your shitty Pokemon. We'll kill them all so we can move on. Let's do this! Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Pokemon Pearl version! This is your host, MJ406. And we are continuing our exploration of Iron Island as well. We've ran, ran into Team Galactic, who's trying to somehow abduct all the Pokemon in this frickin' mountain. There's no way they can take them all. With just the two of them here to start, there's hundreds of them! There's Steelix, there's Gravelord, there's Golbats, which they can probably easily get. There's no need for you guys to take anything here. Plus, I just think you'll have trouble with it. You guys just aren't that smart. Really? Another Zubat? Are you kidding me? I'll let you handle that. I will kill the Zubat again. Because these guys don't know how to have friggin' actually capable Pokemon. In fact, it's just really annoying me now. Bro, use Bone Rush! You idiot! The fact you almost killed it is also sad. Whatever. Either way, let's just kill these guys and move on. These Team Galactic guys are chumps. Only the freaking commanders were tough, and they're cheaters anyway. Yeah, I think that'd be obvious. Damn, Mud Bomb. That's a good ground move. I want to say there's a chance of... There you go. Lowering accuracy. Yep. I was right. Oh, who saw that coming? A fucking gold bat. I had a feeling. I bet the next Pokemon the other one has, once we actually kill that freaking pro gunk, is a stunky. I wouldn't be surprised at all. You guys are incredibly predictable and it's annoying. Nice hit. Now you did bone rush, you dumbass. Wow, I think the only time you hit it was when your accuracy was lowered. Well, that was the only time you did it again. That's beside the point. You get out of the way, Golbat! I'm sick and tired of your shit! Now hurry up and summon the last one so freaking Lucario can kill it with a fighting move. And there we go! Right on the money. Stunky. Just use Force Palm on it. Or Bone Rush. Whatever. Just don't do Metal Claw, and you're good. In fact, I'll encourage you to make sure you hit him. Take this, Golbat, and stay out of my way forever! Yeah, I always hate these freaking things. They're like vampire bats. He's got bags at the bottom, too. He's just a stupid bat. I don't like him at all. His looks always bothered me. There you go! Get him with Bone Rush! That's right! Get him. Do it. Hit him with bones. Make him wish he was nothing but a pile of bones. Oh, come on! Can't you hit more than twice? Why is it always... My allies suck with those multi-hit moves. Or me. Why? So annoying. There, I'll embarrass you. You're a dark type. I kill you with a dark type move. How'd that make you feel? Stupid skunk. You know, I probably should have bitten a bit of skunk. That sounds like it'd be really bad for your mouth. I feel like crying. This is so sad. What a tough combination. I can't believe it. You should believe it. You're an idiot. You guys both are idiots. Stop. I said stop. Your combination is so sick! The both of you and your Pokemon! Let's beat it, partner! You said it, brother. We don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyway. Wow, really? Thanks, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you like to take it with you? Yes, please! Thanks. I'd like you to show the Pokemon that's inside the egg all sorts of new places. Spending time with you is very enjoyable. I intend to test my skills at other places from now on. Let's meet again! Take care of the way out. Well... Yeah, thanks. I guess you always come back to it if you don't take the egg. Which I'm glad I did. So, yep. Yeah, now we got the egg. This is the egg I wanted. 
I can't wait for it to hatch. Based on the Pokemon you had, you can probably guess what's inside. Oh, I need this thing to hatch. Well, Repel wore off. Oh, crap. I wanted to swap to a different Pokemon. I wanted to get freaking Floatzel back out. Because of Graveler. Yeah. Well, no more duo, but at least we had fun. And we're right at the exit of the cave, too. Oh, God. Please tell I used Razor Leaf. So I was tapping away. Oh, thank God. Whew, scary for a second. I thought I wasn't going to hit. I need another good Grass-type move. I think he does learn another good one later on. Just not for a while. It's just not Wood Hammer, because Wood Hammer is mean. The fact it hurts me to use it. I wouldn't mind it if it didn't hurt so bad. If I wanted to frequently use it, it wouldn't work out. All right, Lifeguard. Give me a hand if you wouldn't mind. Now... I guess I may as well try to make my way out of this cave. Try to level up what I can on my way out. No, there's much left, but... Oh, yeah, may as well. Use defog! Use defog! <laughs> yeah, let's use it in the cave. Ooh, a shiny stone! I can be used to evolve certain Pokemon. Don't forget, they introduced new evolution stones. This can be used to evolve Rosilla to Rose Raid. Don't forget. There's also another interesting evolution that... I could do. However, I don't think we can run into that Pokemon at all until post-game. Because that's something new they started to do, starting with Gen 4. That their new Pokemon, that more Pokemon in the game show up once you beat the Elite Four and get new areas unlocked. Oh, God. If that's self-destruct, I'm dead. Well, at least you didn't do self-destruct. That was something. You back off! Don't you dare stop that you asshole! My bird is a kung fu master. You don't want to mess with this bird. He will mess your day up. He's a master of bird foo. Whatever that entails, he is a master of it. That's all you need to know. Well, that was fun. Let's get out of here. There's nothing hiding around, right? Anything? Damn it. Oh. For a moment, I thought you looked animation like he was listening to something, like he heard where the item was. Oh, looks like I have. Oh, I have all of them at nine. Maybe nine I'll get later. Whatever. Either way, let's go back home. Aye, aye, Eggers away! Good, I want to go back home. I'm tired of this place. I want to go get that badge. Not have the egg. I just have to run around a lot with it. Whee! Also, there's something down there. Oh, right. Well, let's surf. I forgot that was an option. It'll just take an eternity. Even the music makes it sound like it's gonna take forever. U turn. <gasps> yes! U turn! Hey! I got something for you. It's a beautiful TM. So yeah, U-Turn. You wonder why I was so excited about this move? Look at how it works. U-Turn. After making its attack, the user rushes back to switch places with a party Pokemon in waiting. See, this move is actually pretty neat. And it's pretty much used by flying types. Mostly. But yeah, this move's pretty freaking cool. You basically give an attack to an opponent you may not want to fight. So sorry, Aerial Ace. You may get in a fight with a Pokemon you don't want to fight. You do U-turn and be like, fuck that, hit them, and then go switch out anyway. It's a pretty useful move. I love having it on Staraptor, because, well, I have a flying type. If it's a Pokemon I don't want to fight, U-turn. Also, if you kill it with U-turn, I think you can keep that Pokemon out, which is actually pretty useful. So yeah, it's pretty neat. All right, to the steel type gym we go. Let's make our way through, or attempt to anyway. And again, I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Oh, you're a fighting type, huh? I don't think so. Steelverse has an unbending spirit. We will refuse to accept defeat. The path to victory reveals itself. So it does? Okay, fine. Let's go get that gym badge. Now I have this egg. I can just run around for a while and we'll be set. 
Come on, Steelix, let's play. Oh, damn it. I should reset the step counter to see how many steps it would take to get it to come out. Well, I brought a Steelix right away, huh? Well, screw you, asshole. I'm not putting up with your shit. Man, I have a lot of options for how I can beat up all these Pokemon. Oh, boy. Please don't have, like, a rock move or something. Please, no. Well, thanks for lowering my, um, defense again. Well, how about this? I tell you, go screw yourself and leave me alone! Did that work? Yes, it did. Good. Damn steel types. Actually, I guess fighters probably would have stuff like that. They do have rock types every now and then. These are black belts mostly deal with fighting types, though. Eh, don't worry about it. They do need training partners in some form. I never gave up. I still, I failed to win. No shit. If you give up, well, that's when everything ends for you, bitch. Jeez. Well, you can't do much against these guys, so... I'll lifeguard go in. Thing is, all my Pokemon here can actually handle this pretty easily. Hmm. So, what are these? Whoa! Oh. It's an elevator maze. That's what it is. Okay. Ooh, a gym isn't only about seeing how tough your po your Pokemon happen to be. It's so much deeper than just that. It's a test of you as a person. Really? Whatever you say. I just want to beat up Pokemon and move on, but you guys are trying to throw this philosophy shit at me. That's a rock type, not a steel type. Well, actually, that's better off then. Because now you're just making it easier for me. Thank you. Ugh. Sometimes these trainers are just stupid. But thank you for the entertainment. It was pretty crappy. I don't think I'd come back. I'm going to give it a bad review on Yelp. <laughs> that move is devastating. Yeah, I still use Yelp. I don't actually use Yelp. <laughs> I get to work all day with my Pokemon, even battle sometimes. All the money I need every day. Well, good for you, dude. I'm glad your life is so enjoyable. Oh, another guy here. What's going on, dude? Up and down you go on the list. Me? I like to battle. So you just like hanging up here all day? Waiting for anybody who comes by you to see the left? You're like, <gasps> Oh shit, a person's here! Yes! Finally, I can hit them! Oh, I can hit them, yes! Jeez, dude, don't get so excited over it. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What would the gym what would the gym leader's last Pokemon be? What would be a strong Pokemon? I'm trying to think. I can think of one. But I don't know if that's it. Although, if it was, it would be kind of a dick move, because it's actually somewhat capable. I just don't find it that fascinating. But I will say, what I'm thinking is not bad. It is a steel type, and they wouldn't double you on Lucario. They wouldn't do it a second time. That's more a fighting type, first of all. It just happens to have steel typing on it. And second of all, would they really make the strongest Pokemon of two different gyms the same one? That would just get rid of all the challenge. You know? That would be so stupid. And yet, I couldn't put it past these Pokemon games to do something like that. So, you know, maybe I should think before I say anything. Why you all have Onyx as a Steel-type gym? Use a Steel Pokemon, not a freaking Rock-type. Oh my god. Jasmine knew a lot better than you idiots. You got me feeling down. Well, good, you suck! Stop yelling at me. You can't keep this up. I'll go back to work on the lifts. Good, asshole, you better. All right, then. Back down the lift. I found you for no reason. So it's one of these two. Ah, probably this one. Yeah, it looks like this one. So you gotta find a chain to make your way over. An ace is a knowledge and experience of battling high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. Dude, I got five badges. Calling me a noob is kind of an insult, honestly. If you consider me a noob, then you must be just an asshole. This is a Steel-type gym. Why do you have a Bug and Ground-type here? Or Bug and Poison. What the hell's the matter with you? Don't any of you people pay attention to the typing of the gym? <sighs> Just goes to show there aren't a lot of steel types around. 
Where it's got Steelix, the uh, Lucario, you have the Bronzor, that's about it. Oh, cool, Whirlpool, isn't that an HM? Not in this game, get that out of my fucking face. Oh, shit. Yes, please give up on learning Whirlpool, for the love of God. I accidentally canceled him not learning it, ugh. Well, you know what? You use Earthquake. It's more effective than a water move, I feel. Actually, it's not. Do it anyway! Because I want you to be very strong because I just realized you're not going to be useful in the next gym. In fact, if I used you in the next gym, you would die instantly! So I am not going to put you through that! Take that, Steelix, you giant prick. You like that when I freaking shake the ground underneath your goddamn tail, you asshole? Oh, so close! Oh god, that tail! Ow! That hurt. Probably. Critical hit. Oh! Huh. I thought I thought steel types weren't very effective against um ground types. Huh. Must have been a different type I was thinking of then. Oh, it doesn't mind there is actually another useful app. It's actually really good to have. I do actually like seeing it. Wow, I have the mood to sing a lullaby. Please don't. That's just weird. Your earned enthusiasm. I guess that kind of makes you an ace. Maybe you're a trainer who has the potential to surpass aces. Yeah, what would think? Again, I don't know. I kind of want to go the other way now. Like, what's going on over there? Ooh. That's probably going to be useful later, so I'll keep that there. Is it going to be useful, though? Or are you just pull my leg? By the way, let's keep riding. At least I don't have any, like, hidden items in around. Oh my god, this place is a gigantic maze! It's a lot worse than I thought. At least I don't have hidden items around here. Jeez, this place has so much going on. At least you have to stay in the center to get things moving. Wow. And again, the trainer should have given away where I had to go. At least I'm having fun. That was a quick way out of here, though. Just saying. You know what? As long as you're not dealing with the Monix or something, I'm probably going to regret doing this. Oh, well. Both of you have worked together for many years. Let us show you an example of that history. Yeah, sure. Good luck with that. I guess we're going to have a good time then. Sure. Come on. Fight me, IRL, bitch. I'm ready. Damn it! You know, I should have seen that coming. I thought about it as soon as I put them out. I was just like, you know, they're probably going to throw an Onyx at me right away. And that's exactly what they did. Well, Raphael, go again. Because, well, you see them be the best thing for this. So I'm going to trust you. Motherfucker just used Dig! Motherfucker just used Dig! Hey, fuck you, buddy! You're on the ground! Earthquake will hurt you more now, I think. I don't know it does just as much, but if you're underground from Dig, ground type moves will hurt. Still, so. There you go. Hey, at least you don't have to go to the animation of the Pokemon fainting. See, I see you use some processing power there. Not that there's really much that's going on. Nothing but Onyxes. I swear to God. These people just do the same shit over and over again. Just for that, I'm gonna cut you up with razors. Now get on my way. Jeez, you steel type of this gym would have been beneficial because everything's a goddamn onyx! Every single freaking one of these is an onyx. I mean, what? Three battles have just been onyxes? It's been that you're lost, but it is still a loss. Because you suck! You guys are just using onyx against me! The way you helped each other, that is what made you prevail. Yeah, that's what you think. It's, it's not as impressive as it sounds, buddy. Believe me, it's not nearly as impressive as you're trying to make it sound like it is. Oh, what now? Oh, yeah. We're coming out three with Super Heavy Judo Chops! Do you actually have a fighting type Pokemon? Because that'll at least be something that's like, oh, this is strong against steel types. I brought something here so I can benefit from fighting everybody. But no, I have a fucking Onix anyway. Why do I even bother having Snarf come out? Why? Ugh. This is baffling me. I don't. I, I just. I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. 
Oh my god. Oh. This is frustrating. Oh. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screech, whatever. I'll kill you next turn anyway. It doesn't even freaking matter. Just, just get out of my way, dude. Here, as a matter of fact, let me help you with that. Razor Leaf and get out of my face. Oh, time for your freaking bullshit. Your childish bullshit is too much for me to put up with now. Screech. What are you gonna do to get together, you screech? I'm a very electric type. Oh, dig, I guess. Or most ground moves. There's not really too many special ground moves, although Mudshot is one of them. All right, perfect opportunity for you, lifeguard. Go do your stuff. I'm anticipating great things out of you. So, get them with your amazing surfing power. Ha, ah, you can't deal with steel type. Everybody got surfing. Oh God, is that water? Servant Sido. Uh, I'm working on a song for that. I feel like I know that song from somewhere. And I hate you for it. Ah! Eh, doesn't matter. That song's bullshit anyway. Damn, you ripping on the Beach Boys, man? That was a complete thrashing! I mean, there's, I'm not the biggest fan of them. They're nice to casually listen to, at least. I almost re rededicate myself to training. The road extends to infinity. Just like with CCR, good old clear, Credence Clearwater Revival. They may not be anybody's favorite band, but you know, some of the hits they, ha they have are just really nice to listen to. They're so pleasant. I do love them, those songs. By focusing only one type, you can really see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. Damn, I didn't expect to see a woman in here. No offense. Especially seeing as Gen 2 had only one steel type trainer, and it was a gym leader who was a woman. Okay. Okay. I can understand the Onyx is being in here, because Rock is closely related to steel in this universe. You brought a fucking water type to a steel gym! You need to get the fuck out of here! I guess they had this to try to counter using fire or ground. What a dick! What a dick move! Get out of here! You're nonsense. Although, to keep up with the iron, with the uh, steel aesthetic, it probably has the move Iron Tail. I wouldn't be too surprised by that. But just, just get the hell out of here! Water type and a steel type, Jim. Screw you! Well? Looks like I was right to have Snarf out for something. My folks was too narrow minded! I didn't realize that you could counter types that counter steel types. Apparently. Storm is becoming friendly with your Pokemon. I mean, really friendly. If you do that, you'll learn naturally how you should battle with it. That is a weird way to phrase it. Ah, looks like the gym leader is here. Jeez. Oh, that's what all those are for. I see. There you are, Byron. I always forgot about Byron. I really did. Oh, God. You know what? Your first one's probably going to be Steelix. So I'll bring him out anyway. Lifeguards be fine. I'm gonna leave. Don't leave yet, man. We still have to actually get through this. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and heal. Ah, oh, the Dwarf's gym badge. I see, I see. Defeated my son. Well, that's no surprise. He still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rock. I, right, Barat, will take your challenge. So you're his father. I should have figured, but still. Well, I can see where he gets his love for rocks. Since you're an a mining man yourself. Leader Byron! Let's go. Oh. First one will be Bronze Door. Then again, I don't really have anything to deal with this, so. You know, I guess it does make sense you did this. So it's Bronze Door and Steelix. We'll be the last one. I hope it isn't actually Lucario. That'd be kind of lame if you threw the Lucario card at me again. Oh, what the hypnosis! Uh, I don't care. This is a gym leader battle. Where is the awakening? Give it. Give it here. Oh, yeah. I should buy full heals. That's something else I should do. And full restores. I don't know if I can get full restores yet. Full heals I could probably get. Especially after this gym. Oh, here's a good special type of steel move. Flash cannon. It's not going to water types, though. Because steel's not very good effective against water, in case you didn't know that. Flash Cannon is actually a pretty decent steel type move. Like, I think Lucario can learn that too. Although he has Metal Claw, so he kind of doesn't need it. 
Flash Cannon, I want to say, it has a chance of, like, lowering one of the defensive stats. I don't remember, though. It's not bad, though. Steelix! Alright, go again. Now, what is your prime Pokemon? That I have to wonder. Yeah, it's not one of these two. Ooh. Now I'm intrigued. Although I still have my bets on what I think it is, because I would not be surprised, seeing as we see so many of that Pokemon that seeing it's evolved form would not shock me. I swear to God, I better not be fucking Lucario again. That'd be so stupid and lazy. I know it's good and all, but two gym leaders have the same one would just be lazy. Ah! Actually, good choice. So hey, you know the shield on I have? You want to see its evolution? It's Bastiodon! It just looks stupid, though. Ooh, what's this? My last one. This is where we make our stand. I see. So yeah, Bastiodon. It is a giant, basically, rock, steel wall face Pokemon. Steel and ground, it evolves in level 30. So yeah, I could have easily gotten one of these, but... It's pretty good defensively, so it's not bad. I think his physical attack is really good, too. Oh, you're using a uh, steel-type move on a water-type. Yeah. <sighs> well, it's definitely twice as strong as Bronzor. We're not done yet. There's no giving up. I completely forgot about this one. It's actually a pretty good choice. And it makes sense. Roark had a fossil Pokemon. It makes sense you'd have the opposite one. But, well, you're still a joke. So, you have a water-type. You could walk over this gym like it's nothing. Except for the one girl of the Azumarill. Have a grass type for that one. Or an electric type if you just have one with you. Because having a Lux Ray is always a great option. There we go, baby. There we go. Your special attack is higher than your regular attack. And they stay pretty close together, so I don't really mind using one type or the other with you. Mm, my sturdy Pokemon defeated. I mean, it was actually pretty easy, dude. You are strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I'll give you this. The Mind Badge! That's badge number six! Yep, yeah, baby, we're making great progress. I'm in love with my team right now. However, the Mind Badge enables you to use the hidden move strength anytime outside of battle. Yes! And you now have six gym badges. That means all four out to level 70 will pay you without question. Here, take this tool. Probably Flash Cannon. I'll keep an eye. Keep this. I might need it. The TM91 contains the move Flash Cannon. If it hits, it may lower the may also lower the target special defense. That makes sense. I figured that's what it was. Whoa! <laughs> the Sinnoh region is vast! Took players like you and the Popo crop up constantly to challenge the old guard. With more young players like my son and you two taking charge, the future of Pokemon is bright. But I'm not stepping aside just yet. I really need to rededicate myself to training on Iron Island. You do that. So the Popo had an easy time with you too. Oh, yeah, he also has a Bleasel. Right, I forgot about that. He also has Bleasel. How did I forget? There we go! We are both winners here. Ah, oh, free man, you be the gym leader. Good going! That makes it six gym badges! I'll tell you what. You will turn into one fight trainer. You were to say you're going to try to become Pokemon champ. No one laughing at you now. I'm your corner, kiddo. Yeah, I'm sure he's added to the Popo as well. Then again, you're probably obligated to say that. Oh, shit! Hey! That's the mind badge! Good going! Let's battle! No, You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ! Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Hey, ladies, Freeman! Come with me to the library! Oh, God, what's happening now? Dude, can you give me a sec? I need to go heal up, at least. Jeez. Always trying to hurry me up into doing things. What a dick. Also, there's a Pokemon I want to go out and get, which we're going to do next time! So, pray to the Sun God. Now you use strength outside of battle, I am going to the freaking other place I want to go to so I can get the Pokemon I want. So, come back next time. And I'm going to go hunt down that Pokemon I finally wanted to get all this time. And then I can experience share. And while we're doing that, we can also try to work on hatching this egg. Finally, my full team is ready to be assembled. About goddamn time.